Hello, Internet. So recently there have been numerous stories on social media and various websites across the web that speak of a new trend that has not only been taking over the Internet, but the real world as well. Clowns. And not normal happy circus clowns, creepy clowns. And it has everybody freaked out. So what exactly is going on with all this clown hysteria? Well, let's have a look at how it all started and why it might be happening. The fear of clowns is a common fear people have. The phobia of clowns is referred to as chorophobia. I may be pronouncing that wrong, but you get the point. With it being such a common fear amongst people, it's no surprise to why the internet has been making such a big deal about all the clown sightings. It all started in August of 2016 when rumors began to circulate that there were clowns attempting to lure children into the woods behind an apartment complex in Greenville, South Carolina. With some of the reports even stating that clowns were showing children large amounts of money or candy in attempts to lure them into the woods. These kids was so terrified that this man actually tried to lure them in the woods, man or woman, we don't know, but you know, it's somebody in these woods that's trying to get these kids. After all these reports, an increased police presence around the apartment complex soon followed. The apartment complex even issued this warning to all its residents. These occurrences had the community living in fear. But in early September, the Cleveland County Sheriff's Office in North Carolina issued a statement claiming all the reports were false. I wish that this was the end of the story, but unfortunately, the clown sighting spread. People have posted numerous creepy videos online that claim to be spotting clowns in numerous places, with each video gaining thousands and sometimes millions of views. On September 23rd, the first clown capture happened in Kentucky when 20-year-old Jonathan Martin was arrested as he was crouching in trees near an apartment complex. This arrest gained a lot of attention with numerous sites publishing articles on the topic, even the well-known mainstream news site, BBC. The clown sightings began to grow at a rapid pace, with some some reports even coming in about clowns with knives and swords, putting an even scarier spin on the events. The hysteria has grown so much that a mass clown hunting even happened at Penn State University. Yo, holy <laughs> This is about to be famous. <laughs> With the widespread news of the creepy clown spottings, a Twitter movement was started on October 3rd, when Twitter user Chase Brunner tweeted a tweet with the hashtag, if I see a clown, signifying to people that the clowns better not try anything around him. Since then, the hashtag has continued to spread with sometimes humorous results. Although some make jokes about the situation, it legitly has others freaked out. Professional clowns are not too happy about it either. They feel it hurts their job and reputation. Everyone took this as a joke, but it's really become serious now. And, and I just want all these teenagers to know that it's it's not a game anymore. You know, you're ruining my, my job and, and other actors around the world. So the question still remains, why did they start appearing in the first place? What are they trying to achieve? You see, that's the thing, nobody truly knows. People have been speculating that it is all a genius marketing campaign for the upcoming clown-based horror film, It, which is a remake of the classic film that is based on the Stephen King novel. Others believe that with all the hype and attention the internet has given the clown sightings, it has created copycats who seek attention and want to promote the trend. And we've all seen how the internet is with trends and fads. It's a monkey see, monkey do mentality. So let's hope it's all as simple as that, cause if it's not, that means we have a bigger problem on our hands. And with Halloween around the corner, who knows what they have in store for us. I'll catch you guys next time. And don't forget to lock your doors.